Satellite radar picture of the past three hours have shown that snow slowly growing back into the central part of the state, but you'll notice now just in the past hour it has been slowly shifting back off to the east, and this system will slowly but surely clear off to the east as we move later into the evening. Still, that does mean a couple more hours of snow development in areas like Stevens Point, whereas you might only see maybe another hour of snow in the Wausau area. Wisconsin Dells further southeast still has multiple hours clearing out by around 9 or 10 o'clock. Now our satellite radar picture shows the system continuing to push off to the east, a very large weather system. The next one headed our way is significantly smaller right now in southern Canada, but could still bring us a dusting to an inch as we head into tomorrow night. Let's take a look at what that's going to look like here on our future track forecast. As we track into around 8 o'clock, you can see most of the snow is mainly just reserved for those into the southeastern corner. As we head into around midnight tonight, we're looking pretty much dry across the state of Wisconsin, other than a few flakes and flurries from some lake effect activity far north. Tracking into Wednesday, significantly drier and significantly quieter day. Our wind should be dying down out there tomorrow. We still hold on to the cloud cover, however, and as we mentioned, not looking at much snow until we hit the overnight hours. After we hit around 6 o'clock or later, we could see some snow develop yet again. This is going to be very light and fluffy snow and widely scattered as well. And totals are looking extremely light, as you mentioned, a dusting to an inch, but still, that's on top of the multiple inches that we're getting out there this evening. As we track into our Thursday, another small chance of snow. And let's take a look here at the extended future track, which will show that activity for Wednesday night into Thursday as well. Another chance of snow here on Friday, maybe a couple of inches. So we're keeping our eye on a few more inches by the end of the week, which will really start to make it look like winter out there. Even Saturday has a small chance of light snow development. Let's take a look at the numbers today. 33 degrees, the daytime high. That is 10 degrees warmer than average for this time of year. Temperatures will be quickly falling as we head into the next uh, couple of days. 23 by Friday, 17 by Saturday. And take a look at the end of the weekend and start of next week. Chilly uh, with high temperatures only in the single digits. That does unfortunately mean lows below zero. Overnight forecast tonight, though, still on the mild side, low of 25. North to northwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Forecast high tomorrow around 30. Northwest winds to start 5 to 10, gradually shifting to the southeast, and that will be a lighter wind of just 5 miles per hour. So a 70% chance of light snow Wednesday night into Thursday, 60% chance of snow on Friday as well, mainly for the southern part of the state. Saturday, a 40% chance. After that, the cold weather starts to settle in.